blessings family what's going on this is lady b welcome to another video in this one we're going to still talk a little bit about the saga with the bomb box of fridays uh, but right about now you don't know say general b breaks silence because he put a message on um instagram but it was in an interview the other day with Terodan as well and then we have Ari Tadla break silence in an interview yes so anyway basically Ari Tadla he must say why general b are going with some things because general b and video face uh, nor get along so the premise be behind what Ari Tadla say is that they had a meeting and people did want video face if you take myself from videoing the whole boombox friday's thing and him tar Ari Tadla said no you know one video for you left so with that being said it looked like so some bad vibes was going on between video face and uh, general b so you don't know what uh, one anyway um we know i say um b could be a little come out and say a whole lot of things i mean i showed a video they call the video so long but you know like how things still are brew it's probably a video that still can put out there so another person come out and I talk about the amount of money where boombox fridays make and it seems like the money is what caused the bad vibes and me say it seems like because me don't know for sure all of these are just speculation you know because you have two people and you have a much different side to the story and is that you never know what or who to believe so right now um a lot of people comment on general b post i'm going to read them post in a few minutes but i want to hear say dan mafia the artist was on his live or put out a video and they must say you know what people are threatening because dan mafia make a a, a song after the whole video face video face thing so guess what now no me i got me gonna here with Dan Mafia officer, but the threat where him get. And uh, talk to me in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think him making this song justify him getting a threat? But anyway, make we hear what Dan Mafia officer about this. How are you going with the boom box thing? You know? Public news, you know. They're not in the hiding. You know? Me do my song about boom box mix up now, see? And I explain what going on and read him. When I look now, I see private number I call my phone. How much time I see my phone, I mean, not one's a private number, but after about three or four times, I see what I want, because you never can tell it. What's up, I'm important. The man, the bunny, I can't tell me about me. I take down my song off of YouTube, because if I don't know, I get gunshot. And I clown, I clown up the thing. And who? Oh, hey, boy, fool that bad man for some sick man. I'm telling this man, no boy can scare me now. No boy can frighten me in a long time me I do music and no man can tell me if take down my song. Me I do song have a something in a public space and everybody in the world I watch what I go on and notice and, and it's something out there and I'm me I talk out in a business. Yes family, so right now Dan Mafia is facing a threat on his life but uh, you understand he's saying now nah, budge because a long time he might do music and a long time he might take them things here where happen in a real life and turn it into music. So I'm talk to me. So I'm gonna talk to me down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you think this justify a threat on Dan Mafia's life. Right now we're going to hear what Arita Laffy say about the situation where him breaks silence. I wish I didn't know you know. You know the meeting I want to say what I want to talk about because General B want video face move. Because him go for your gun, the video face. Victim video face two weeks ago when I want it, man. And the water boy did I'm getting a yo I told you, yo the him want video face, him want video face of something three weeks ago before that. Mm -hmm. Leading up to this. Sir. So two, him want to move the youth. You have been a you have been a king. I tell the man, say, bro, you can't bring the personal feeling in that thing. So to him one video face the more. Because remember, you know, he said the man, yo, you see if we never stop the thing and ball, he said the man who come and go, they would lick out the youth face. You know? If they don't shoot him, they would have beat, they would have deal the youth, they would have disgraced the youth. You know? And him and him know that too. So guess what? Him and video face don't have that 
dealings. Well, family, that's what uh, Ari Tadler was saying. And as I said, there are so many t sides to a story. I don't know the real deal. We don't know the real deal. But, uh, you know, everybody advised their side of the story. And also, um, you know, just talk to me in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. So we're going to get back on some update with Victoria Lien's case, right? So Tory Lien's, uh, he suffered another defeat in court because right now, Judge David Hereford denied the motion for bail while awaiting his appeal trial hearing. Mm -mm. So Tory Lien's is heading to California State Penitentiary where we where he will begin to serve his 10-year prison sentence that was handed down last month because of the shooting of the rapper megan the stallion back in 2020 so he's also facing a maximum sentence of 22 years mm -mm. it's a sad state of affairs as many was the 34 year old who leaves behind his six-year-old son and his new wife to begin a lengthy sentence the rapper maintained his innocence and his attorney filed an appeal however the appeal was unsuccessful on wednesday when they advocated for lens to be released on bail as he awaits his appeal trial so according to the reporter he represented by appellate car mm, attorneys crystal morgan and michael hayden from the unite the people and according to the situation the bail was denied on three grounds and the first one was he was convicted of a violent felony he has history of violating court orders and is mm -mm, and is not a u.s citizen and would not be subject to deportation and would be subject to deportation order which means he could be sent back to canada wow so he is officially headed to prison california state penitentiary the judge also jumped straight into the nine bail before even adding bail noting that the motion will be denied and proceedings concluded in the meantime united people will be appealing towards bail application again and they'll be working on the rapper's appeal case Mm -mm. so these are some statements we feel that mr peterson was disproportionately sentenced to be the f to be a first term candidate to be convicted and get 10 years for first time in prison we feel that's disproportionate we feel that he wasn't given a fair shake so that's what his uh, attorneys are saying um, they said he was not treated fairly during the trial and he had not reached the bail denial. He, um, Tory Lanez has not reacted to the bail denial. However, um, Kunif says the rapper smiled at family and friends despite the bail denial. So he wasn't mad. He wasn't upset. He wasn't stressing himself. You understand? And he find it in himself to smile. All right so they said that tory lanes previously rejected a plea deal offered to him by a prosecutor to serve four years in prison in exchange for a guilty plea so they want him to plead guilty and him cut down the time but because he said he's not guilty so he's going through the full extent of uh, the trial so while he's waiting um well he's headed to prison he's not gonna get any bail at this moment but his attorneys are still gonna appeal the situation but anyway keep um in tune stay tuned for more updates on both uh, jamaican international scenario of what's going on in the world you understand so when you can remember drop a like drop a share if you're new to the channel subscribe with the notification bell so you know when i upload more videos like these thank you for watching and stay safe